Hello friends, this is Shiva Shankar from Safety Hands with a new video. In this video, I am going to explain about flammable and combustible liquids. Flammable and combustible liquids are one of the important topics in an oil and gas industries. Why? Because if it is not stored properly, fire hazard may exist. So let's see what it is. Flammable and combustible liquids uh, can be ignited easily at an ambient temperature called flash point. So to control the fire and prevent it, we should know about their flash points as well as the various classes. So the flammable liquids are those liquids having a flash point below 37.8 degree Celsius. Flammable liquids are classified as class 1 liquids. So these class 1 liquids can be further subdivided into class 1A, 1B and 1C. Class 1A liquids are having a flash point 22.8 degree Celsius and a boiling point of below 37.8 degree Celsius. So class 1B liquids are those liquids having a flash point of below 22.8 degree Celsius and a boiling point of at or above 37.8 degree Celsius. So class 1C liquids are those liquids having a flash point above 22.8 degree Celsius and below 37.8 degree Celsius. So let's see what is combustible liquids. Combustible liquids are those liquids having a flash point of above 37.8 degree Celsius. These combustible liquids can be subdivided into class 2 and class 3 liquids. Now let's see what is class 2 liquids. Class 2 liquids are those liquids having a flash point of above 37. 8 degree Celsius and below 60 degree Celsius. So class 3 liquids are those liquids having a flash point above 60 degree Celsius. Class 3 liquids can further be uh, subdivided into class 3A and 3B liquids. Class 3A liquids are those liquids having a flash point of above 60 degree Celsius and below 93.3 degree Celsius. So, Class 3B liquids are classified as those liquids having a flash point at or above 93.3 degree Celsius. So now we will see the control of ignition source. So appropriate control measures should be in place to prevent the fire hazard. First of all, we need to identify what are all the uh, ignition source in an oil and gas industry. Normally there are many ignition source uh, which are lightning and uh, open flames. Uh, naked flames, uh, cutting weldings, uh, spark and uh, frictional heats, uh, radiant heats uh, and uh, any furnaces, other heating equipments and stray currents. These are all the common uh, ignition sources in an oil and gas industries. So let's see how to control the fire and management of fire. For these things to happen, we need to review the operation which involves the flammable and combustible liquids. Next, we need to have a proper fire prevention and control measures in place, which includes uh, fire alarms, smoke detectors, uh, fire hydrants, fire extinguishers, uh, fire monitors, uh, manual call points, and uh, trained firefighters, as well as fire vehicles, and written emergency rescue plan for. Uh, Deal for dealing with the, any fire hazards in case of any emergencies. So that's all in this video my friends. So if you have any comments and clarifications on what I have just said so far, you can comment me down and I'll be happy to explain you back. And if you haven't subscribed my channel so far, kindly subscribe it so that you will get my latest and updated video. Thank you for watching it.